JBN, we keep you informed. Clueness was destined for greatness. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Superintendent Leon Ernest Clunis was destined for greatness, was the constant refrain as relatives, friends and colleagues on Saturday paid their final respects to the man who served for 29 years in the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF. The decorated cop was sent off in style and class in a moving Thanksgiving service at the Church of the Open Bible on Washington Boulevard in St. Andrew, where he was eulogized by Deputy Commissioner Clifford Blake as a man of great passion. The superintendent was one of four policemen shot in the deadly Horizon Park, Spanish Town St. Catherine operation on June 12. Corporal Dane Biggs and Constable Ricardo Hilton died on that hill fated day, while Clunis passed away at age 52 on June 13 hospital weeks after the shooting. The other officer, District Constable Luther Richards, was treated at hospital and later released. Clunis entered the Jamaica Police Academy at Twickenham Park at age 21 and graduated on September 27, 1991. After a few years climbing the ranks, he was transferred from the personnel division of the JCF to the Bureau of Special Investigations, BSI. And it was there that he truly started displaying his propensity for detailed work and leadership. The experience garnered at BSI prepared him for his next transfer in December 2007 to the Professional Standards Branch, which was subsequently subsumed into the Anti-Corruption Branch, Blake recounted. It was that the anti-corruption branch that his reputation as a czar in the fight against corruption was established. Clunis's widow Trisha, along with their three children and several siblings and other relatives, sat quietly as Blake spoke glowingly of the man they and many others affectionately called Ernie. One moving moment during the service was when members of the intelligence unit Clunis had led were asked to join the JCF choir on stage. In his tribute, Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson said the passing of this law enforcement practitioner has cut short his contribution to our collective effort in the fight against crime. As we mourn his passing, let us carry on the fight of reducing crime in Jamaica, thereby making our communities safer. The commissioner described Clunis as a brave soul, ever looking out for the well-being of the men and women he served with. Superintendent Leon Clunis was a true Jamaican hero. He was a fierce and focused officer of the law who earned the respect of colleagues and had become a source of trepidation for criminals all across the island, remarked Senator Matthew Samuda, Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of National Security. Clonis Biggs and Hilton will be conferred posthumously with the Medal of Honor for Gallantry on National Heroes Day, while Richards is expected to mount the prestigious King's House platform to accept the national honor. Leon Ernest Clunis, who was a father, a husband, a brother, an uncle, a police officer, a son of the soil, and our hero. Salute Leon, lion-hearted, energetic, opinionated, no-nonsense. <laughs> Leon, affectionately called Ernie, was born to Enid and Herbert Clunis on Friday, the 10th of May, 1968, in the quaint district of Rock River, St. Mary. He was the 11th of 14 siblings, seven boys and seven girls. He attended the Gospel Hall Basic School, Rock River All Age, Richmond Secondary School, the Oberlin High School, and later on, the University of the West Indies. Even as a baby, Ernie showed signs that he was destined to rise above and beyond the average and mediocre. At a tender age, he began his winning ways by taking on the coveted title of most healthy and sustained baby of the month more than once. Growing up and seeing three of his older brothers serving as policemen, Ernie seemed to decide from early what path he wanted to follow. 
One day, when he was nine years old, we, his brothers and sisters, were surprised to see him put on a pair of his brother's police boots to wear to school. Mm -hmm. The boots were about three times the size of his feet, mm -hmm. but he stepped out in them with pride. He was ridiculed by all of his classmates, and we thought that would have been the first and last day of him wearing them, but not so. Instead, he wore those boots to school every day until the boots said, no more. It was during that time, even before he became a teenager, that we realized Ernie's focus and determination. We knew that his vision and dreams could never be crushed by others. The lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord, who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope, for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life in thy presence, is fullness of joy at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore for as much as god in his infinite love and wisdom has permitted leon ernest clunis to fall asleep in christ we do tenderly commit his body to the ground earth to earth ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of a joyful resurrection, when our Lord shall return in glory, when this body of our humiliation shall be changed and made like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. We turn to the police rights. The next wreath will be laid by our own commissioner, Major General Anthony Anderson. The wreath will be given to him by woman Corporal Kelly. Woman Sergeant Kelly. Sorry.
Then we have the Area 5 wreath, will be laid by ACP Gary Griffiths, and the wreath will be given to him by woman Corporal Nelson Wright. The family know we have the other wreaths laid after all right so this is the official wreath laying ceremony and so we are going to conclude this part with benediction after which the commissioner and the other officers will greet with the family before their departure and then we will continue the other aspects it's mcdonald please come and pray Lord, someone who has served his nation well. Someone who has accepted Jesus and has made you his Lord. Leon Clunis. As we close this chapter, Lord God, in the celebration of his life. And also in the morning of his death. We pray, Lord God, that your comfort will be on each one. In particular, Trisha and the, the kids. The siblings, mommy, Lord God, the close relatives and friends, those of the JCF with whom he worked very closely and indeed with whom he served. Lord, we again repeat that Jamaica has lost a great son, but heaven celebrates his arrival. And now, Lord God, as we close this part of the service, we pray that the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit will continue to rest with us, abide with us, and grant us comfort and peace. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.